it's not healthy to overeat on anything, even if it's, you know, if, even if it's sun-filled, spirit-filled food, it can still be too much cellulose in the body. Um, but, you know, at first, I wouldn't worry too much about that. If you're a beginner, um, just get the, the non-sun foods out and get the sun foods in and then worry about, um, you know, your problem of overeating on salads <laughs> later. That's, um, that's, a, that's a, a better problem to have than um, overeating on non-salads, <laughs> okay? Um, notice also that the sun foods are rich in water. So they, they're at least 70% water, sometimes more. And when we are then eating these sun foods, they have a high water quotient, we're actually eating our water. So you may have heard me use the terms to eat our water and drink our food. That's, that's what this means. Um, the, the water that's in plant foods, and the, and the more, the, so the sooner you, you are able to eat them from the organic vegetable patch, the more they will have this quality. But the quality is they're vortexing. The water in them is vortexing through their veins. And this is what's called organic water. And it's the best quality water you can get because of its vortexing uh, flow. Water has a psyche. Water is conscious. And it does not like to be controlled. It hates pipes. Um, it, it doesn't like to be limited. It loves to vortex. It loves to flow. It loves to, to use its own intelligence to determine where it wants to go next. So when we eat our water, we're eating happy water as opposed to drinking water out of pipes or bottles that's become stagnant, you're drinking sad water. So I know that it sounds um, unbelievable, but um, if, you, if you read about water and flow, in fact, especially Victor Schauberger's work, um, it's, it's unbelievable how, how conscious water is and how intelligent it is. But it makes sense because it's filled with spirit until its spirit is suppressed, as in the form of plastic bottles and... Um, and domesticated pipes and things like that. Okay, so that's eating our water and drinking our food, of course, is having our fresh vegetable juice because we have a huge concentration of, um, of, of chlorophyll, which is sun, synthesized sunlight, and sun is soul, which is spirit. We have this huge concentration of it in vegetable juice that we can't get if we sit there and eat all the fiber. So the beauty of, of eating, um, drinking your, your food is, um, is drinking in the lifeblood of the plant. The lifeblood of the plant is the liquid of the plant. So we really need to get over this idea that somehow all this fiber is so good for us. Some fiber, a little bit, but too much cellulose is, is very draining on the body. And meanwhile, the lifeblood, the, the water content in the plant foods is so beneficial. That's where the life force is. So um, yeah, that, that's why you know, we, we juice so much and we repurpose the fiber, um, one salad enough, one salad day is enough fiber. It's, um, you know, so, so we can repurpose the fiber in our juices by using as compost or, you know, making things with it if we want to, but, um, but there's a, a purpose to juicing without the fiber getting all that lifeblood of the plant inside of us. It's so powerful. It's so alkaline. Hi everyone. I've put together a totally comprehensive course to see you through the holiday season from before the week of Thanksgiving through to the first week of January. The course was put together in order to support you through this period that can otherwise be a little bit derailing for people, and I understand. Um, You've done so much amazing work this year that's gotten you where you are now, and you don't want to lose ground. You want to know how to stand your ground through the holiday season and enjoy yourself and enjoy all the parties and the times with family and friends without feeling like you're going to be compromising anything or, um, or without feeling like you could be tempted to indulge in things that would unravel all the great hard work you've done. I'm really proud of you. I know how hard you've worked and I want to stand beside you and support you to make sure that that hard work only sees and is met with even more success through the holiday season, especially because of what's happening in 2020. In 2020, the, the energies on the planet are shifting so significantly and nothing will ever be the same again. 
you need to be sovereign to enter that space. Otherwise, it's going to be much more difficult than it ever has been. On the one hand, the opportunity is so much greater for those who are in their sovereignty, who are in their strength, who have made the higher choices physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, energetically. And for those who haven't, it's going to be much more difficult. So I want to see you embodying your absolute pinnacle of strength as you enter in to 2020 and usher in this beautiful new period and, and gain all the opportunities you can from this time. This is why I created this course. I'm here to help you. I highly encourage you to jump on board and ride this wave with us. It's going to be an eight-week course that's fully geared to empowering you.